Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today is, um, I think it's Tuesday, right? If I'm not mistaken. Well, today we're gonna be talking about medical costs. Yay! We're gonna be talking about medical costs out here in, in Mexico. Specifically, Merida, Mexico, which is where I live, but I guess it pertains to the most of Mexico. So, let's talk about medical costs. Now, a lot of you guys ask me all the time. You guys ask me all the time about, you know, medical costs, you know, and like what certain, you know, certain things cost and so on and so forth. And uh, even though I might not be able to be specific in, uh, hold on, someone's calling me. Why are you calling me now? Sorry about that, I apologize. So here, let me put that on uh, mute. I should have done that before. So much for planning. So anywho, um, yeah, medical cost out here. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know the exact prices of everything. I'm not gonna make uh, an episode just talking about that. But I will talk about the medical cost that I have in, 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 incurred. Yes, incurred. And, uh, and a lot of them pertain to most of you guys out there. So you guys can get at least uh, an idea of what things could cost out here. All right. Well, first off, let's start off with uh, going, to the, uh, going to the dentist. So around here, um, I, you know, it's not like um, back in the U.S. per se or in other places where you can just Google and uh, find... Uh, you know just you know just search do a google search and then you know you find a bunch of places everywhere it's not quite like that the thing is though when you are walking around and just you know in your daily travels you see them everywhere and i'm talking about everything they're just randomly everywhere not necessarily a google presence but it don't matter so when it came to the dentist i asked a friend um that she lives out here Hey, um, do you recommend any? And she was telling me, he's like, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Um, there's a good friend of mine. You should go check him out, so on and so forth. And uh, when she gave me the address, I was like, oh, man, this is kind of far. So I was just thinking to myself, man, it's going to cost me a lot of money. And I was like, you know what, let me, you know, just to get there. So I was like, you know what, let me just walk around my neighborhood. I know that I passed a few dentists around here um, in my travels. Let me uh, just walk around and ask. So I was, wa I walked around. <laughs> And sure enough, um, there's one place, the one that I swing by all the time, um, right off the bat, you know, the guy, you know, he was super nice, super friendly, super everything. And then um, the price was right as well. I was like, well, how much for like a cleanup and, you know, the whole deal, you know, whatever, regular checkup type thing. And he's like, uh, 500 pesos. And I'm like, 500 pesos? Deal. And he's like, all right, come back in a couple hours. Came back in a couple hours. I was in and out, literally. As I was uh, walking in, somebody was walking out, and then that's it. And the guy had to like kind of like set up in. Uh, in this, I mean, it's not, it wasn't his home. I mean, I don't know if it was his home or not, but it was like an office. It was it, it was a regular dental's office, you know. And that's it. And just got my work done, and everything was just kind of done there, and easy peasy. Well, then the next thing, I was like, well, I gotta run some errands. Let me just keep, you know, um, running the errands after I did my dental work or whatever. <laughs> So, and as I'm walking uh, through another area that I usually don't walk through, I see a place that sold glasses, like a glasses store, you know, uh, this right here specifically. So I was like, hey, let me swing by here because I was already walking around and the prices were somewhere in the, oh, but yeah, yeah. So anyways, the price, oh yeah, sorry. Let me get back to the dental work. So the dental work was 500 pesos. The 500 pesos for the for the cleanup, and that comes around to um, around 25 US dollars, give or take. Now let's get to the glasses. So the glasses, you know, when I would walk around at Centro and other places like that, and I would uh, inquire within a lot of popular places about, you know, the you know the prices on glasses, they were somewhere around a thousand to two thousand pesos. Which is somewhere around fifty to fifty to two to fifty to one hundred U.S. dollars, give or take. Still cheap, but it was like, uh, um, but it was like it varied a lot, and um, they wouldn't, they, you know, it was just um, it just varied a lot, and it didn't have everything I wanted. So I just kept searching and searching, and there was so much variety, so much variety, and I was like, man, 
it was getting difficult. So then I decided. So as I was walking earlier today, I, I find a place that looked like it was just someone's home that was also an optometrist. I went in there and bam, long story short, I came out with new glasses. And they came out to a thousand pesos. So that's around 50 bucks. And I got the, the whole thing, the whole package. So I got my glasses, I got the frame, I got the checkup, I got the whole deal, you know, um, and that's it. And so now I'm walking on my way to the pharmacy, which is over there, because I need to grab something from here, unrelated. And I just figured, you know what? I'm doing a lot of medical stuff today. I might as well make this a topic. So, all right, we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna grab something real quick, and um, I'll catch you. I'll catch with, catch up with you guys in a few minutes. Okay, on our way out. Oakley Dokley. All right. So, well, we're on our way back. And, um, yeah, they didn't have exactly what I wanted here. I always forget that they don't have it here. I, what I was looking for was, uh, was uh, you know, breathe strips. On, um, I forgot what the breath strips. You know, but sometimes I use those to sleep because I have allergies. And ever since, you know, how about that? How, ever since I've moved out here to Mexico, my allergies have gotten way better. Back in the States, I used to take all this allergy medicine just to breathe. And now that I'm living out here, it's like, it's all cleared up for the most part. So, but every once in a while, I like, uh, I'll put on, you know, the little breath strips, the little strips that you put on your nose to, to breathe and shit. But, uh, but yeah, they're kind of like hard to come by out here. So that's pretty interesting. So, all right, so let's get to, to another medical, another medical cost. Oh, by the way, so those breast strips, they cost around 70 pesos for a box of 10. Um, and so, yeah, so they come out to like around, uh, how much is it? That's like $3 for, yeah, you know, they come up really, they come out um, a lot cheaper than back in the States. That's for sure. All right. Now let's get to another medical cost. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but several months ago when I was here, I got locked out of my balcony and I had to break in through the glass. And uh, you see, I don't know if you guys can see it there. That's like the, hold on. See there? So I had to get like, uh, I think like six, seven stitches total. Like six or seven stitches total. And you know all the Medicare, all the medical care that came with that, the emergency care, so on and so forth. That cost me 800 pesos. So that literally, literally, the stitches cost me less than the glasses. All right. The, so, how about them apples, right? My glasses were actually cheaper. Yeah, let's check this out a little bit. Let's just walk over this way. But yeah, see, look, there's all kinds of shit here. It's like a dog groomer here, animal groomer. So yeah, just interesting stuff all around the hood. All right, let's get back over here under the shade. So yeah, here's the mechanics right here, right behind me. So yeah, I forgot the time of the day already too. Everybody's uh, getting off of work, doing their thing. Look at this, always everywhere. All right, let me see if I can get through here. So, an emergency room, an emergency room visit and seven stitches and the medicine and all that shit. Oh yeah, I forgot about the medicine. I think an antibiotic. So you know, in total, everything came out to like a thousand dollars. So I, everything came out the same price as uh, as my glasses. So fifty U.S. dollars, pretty much fifty U.S. dollars for that situation. So you know, pretty much everything's nothing's cost me more than uh, fifty bucks. 
how about that everything's been under 50 bucks and um i mean i can just you know and, and by the way and i'm paying more than the average person out here because i'm not a citizen i'm just on a tourist visa still i still have yet to get my uh, my citizenship and i mean my residency and uh and other you know other stuff you know because once you get your residency you can also apply for you know um, i don't know i think it's like some insurance or this or that whatever so things get even way cheaper so i mean i don't know what that says but it says that it's cheap that's what it says and uh again that goes with um just about everything here you know cost of living just cost of living in general sure the average person doesn't make much you know the average uh, mexican in this part of mexico makes like around 800 to a thousand dollars a month you know give or take maybe a little more but um but yeah you know what i mean uh, that's why things are also so cheap and uh but people people can live out here you know people can uh, do their thing they can live their life they don't have to live like uh, the crazy rat race life they live more like a sloth life it's kind of like a sloth life out here not sloth life you know i don't want to say that either because it's not that slow out here but you know it is a lot more chill that's for sure a lot more relaxed and uh and again you know just uh the cost of living you know um it's not just about the price you know uh remember we also got to talk about the um, what you might call it the not the cost uh what you might call, uh, the quality 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 of life sorry sorry it's been a long day i've been up since like 5 30 this morning long story but you know the quality of life and so i hear you can have a you can have an or an enormous amount of uh quality of life everything is also extremely affordable in, in most cases just about everything and um yeah you know it's uh it's pretty awesome I'll tell you what i tell you what that's for sure so let me see we're here we're home so now okay we're home so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna show you the garbage right i'm gonna show you what we do with the garbage I'm, i think you've seen it maybe in my instagram stories but maybe not so we're just gonna do this together since we're already home got to take out the trash before the trash guy gets here. I think you guys can see me there. Whew. It is hot. Look at that. All right. So pretty much here's the trash. You know, I already gathered the trash from the house. Lembo's poop. The whole nine, we tie it up, just like you do every other trash, and then we take it outside. So let's come outside. Come with me. This is a trash can, trash can. Coming at you live with a trash can. And what we do is we keep it, you know, it's fairly simple. It's not really fucking rocket science, see? the trash out there you see people put the trash out there and um i'm sure as you see me walk in my adventures a lot of times you'll see trash outside well what you're seeing there is just because it's it's trash day that's it and so there's no big fucking bins there's no like government whatever you know it's just the city you just put the fucking trash out like that like that like that i don't know if you can see all the way over there like that like all the way over there in the blue see the blue bag over there and that's it. And then, you know, you see these everywhere. And then uh, that's it. So whenever you see a bunch of trash on a, on a, on a, on a street, it's because it's uh, trash day that day. So you, can, you already took it. It's a Monday today. So it's trash day out here. All right. Well, speaking of trash, I got to get in there and I got to edit this thing so you guys can watch it tomorrow. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please hit those thumbs ups. All right, please hit that bell icon and uh, thanks again to all my patrons. All yeah, the camera died again because of uh, the heat, literally in the last few seconds of my little rant. Anyways, thanks again for being here. You guys are the best. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me.
Coca Cola. No Coca Cola for me. Coca Cola. No Coca Cola for me. Coca Cola. No Coca Cola for me. Coca Cola. No Coca Cola for me. 